think uh, first and foremost, you need to be a good listener and solicit feedback from your associates, employees, partners. Um, that would be probably the most important thing. And then second to that, I would tell you, you need to lead by example. You should never ask or direct an employee to do something that you wouldn't do yourself and take the lead role on. I also think it's extremely important to include your employees, partners, associates as part of a decision-making process, whether it's for policies, goal setting, and uh, that way it's easier to get their buy-in because they're part of the process and they add a lot of value since they're closer to the action in most cases. And then lastly, I would tell anyone that runs a company, you should lose the I word and adopt the we word. And because you're building a cohesive group and you're sharing results, rewards, and creating an atmosphere of openness. First off, lead by example. Uh, you foster an environment that's open, sharing, and in our environment, that includes sharing best practices. So everybody's looking out for everybody else's best interest for the common goal of the company. Uh, you also need to foster personal growth on an individual basis with your employees. And I think take it to a second level where you get to know them outside of a business environment, know a little bit about their likes, dislikes, their interests, their family, what they do socially. So when you interact with them, you're outside the box of the business environment. And it, it helps build trust in a longer term relationship. And then once again, uh, when you address the, the group or a department or an individual, it's we, not I. And let's succeed and let's build the company and move forward. <laughs>